product that I'm showing today is white listing for a um, motion control system. We have hardened the HMI such that no malware can be imp introduced on that system. If the engineer comes up and wants to modify his settings on, on his control system, um, he, he usually brings a USB stick. That USB stick could be infected with malware. Um, that would prevent anything running on that on that uh, mal, uh, that USB stick. And in other other instances, um, these systems are connected to Ethernet, and any attacks coming over the Ethernet would be also prevented. Yeah, this is a Windows product uh, for protection of Windows systems. Um, it works with Windows XP, NT, Windows 7, and Windows 10. We put an agent on the HMI system, and that agent locks down whatever is currently configured on the system. From that point on, nothing can be executed, no scripts, no executables. We can't replace any of the DLLs. Uh, none of that type of activity can occur. It does not. We, we have the capability of disabling the whitelisting in order to make valid updates, but that requires administrative privileges and a password on the whitelisting product itself. 